Hi, um, I'm Adil Johan, uh, the saxophonist for Nadir, and I am an endorser of P. Moriette saxophones, and I have with me here today my 67 RUL alto saxophone that I've been playing for two years. Thank you very much, uh, P. Moriette, for co-sponsoring the saxophone. Um, overall, for these two years that I've been playing the saxophone, I've had a wonderful and amazing experience with it. Um, a little background about myself. Um, I play, I play in very loud groups and very loud bands, not your typical kind of jazz band setup, but I have to play and cut across um, heavily distorted electric guitars, loud uh, rock style drum kits, um, and all sorts of other things. Um, if you hear my band Nadir, you'll, you'll get a taste of what that's like. But I also need this kind of versatility in my horn, um, where if I do have to play in a more uh, subdued manner, um, the horn has to allow me to do that well as well. And overall, I have to say this horn over the last two years delivers in all those respects. Um, first of all, um, I want to talk a little bit about the tone. Uh, and that's one of the main things that drew me to this horn. Uh, this is probably the first professional level alto saxophone that I've owned. Um, transitioning over from a um, expert or novice level um, alto saxophone and for the first time I finally feel that I have a saxophone that can really do the job of cutting across uh, loud bands that I play with and nowadays a lot of us professional saxophone players we have to play in in uh, loud setups uh, and we oftentimes are the only acoustic instrument left, right? So short of amplification, um, it's really good to have a horn that can deliver that punch and that can cut through as well. So the reason why um, I really love this horn also is that I'm always going for a more aggressive sound uh, in my saxophone playing. And the amazing thing about this saxophone that I really like after two years of playing with it is that it also has this kind of warm and full-bodied sound. Um, that's not too thin. So oftentimes you need you get a horn that uh, that cuts through really nicely, but the overall tone quality is a little bit thin and it's not as full bodied. So this one delivers on both respects. It has a lot of meat to it. It has a lot of warmth to it, but it also has the ability to cut through. And you know it's a very loud horn, right? And that's that's really what I was looking for. Now in terms of playability or like or action, um, where this a horn also really excels is in its rolled tone holes. Uh, it allows for easier playing and the distance between um, the keys and your action is a lot less, you know, and you also get a much better tone, much playability, really good response, which is really what we need if we're playing, of course, if you want to play those fast passages, right? Like that's, that's going to help you out a lot. Um, I mean, and you got to think about the look of your horn too. I mean, nowadays a lot of people are going to be looking at you because saxophone players tend to be novelties, especially if you're from where, I'm from where I'm from in Malaysia. And this horn is just, it's just a beautiful horn. Like it's got some beautiful detailing. Um, if the camera can pick this up, you know, and, and the color, look at this. Like I, I'm the kind of sax player, I don't like shiny horns. I like that unlacquered finish. It's got this really nice bronze. It is a little bit shiny, but it is actually lacquered, so you also protect it here. The, the horn is actually prote protected well from rust, but it gives you this kind of this kind of old school, kind of gritty, lived in kind of look, which I like. And I think it actually does actually contribute a lot to the tone as well. This is my favorite horn when it comes to playing, uh, when it comes to playability, when it comes to just ease of playing, and there's this kind of connection that you build with your horn. Um, after two years of playing the P. Moriat uh, 67 RUL, I can definitely say that I have um, a very close bond with this instrument. And I hope that you will consider getting this one. I highly recommend it. Thank you. And thank you, P. Moriat. <laughs>
Mm-hmm. <laughs>